Hi there, welcome to this video where I'm in my local town. I'm going to have a wander around to see what details I can find. So this is probably going to be quite a different video than my normal style, but what I want to do is show you that you can take photographs wherever you are if you just be a little bit creative. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to walk around my local town and I'm going to keep my eye out for different details, things that are slightly unusual but will still make for interesting photographs. Now they might not be photographs that won competitions or photographs that you would want to stick on the wall, but that is the beauty of photography. You can just take photographs to please yourself and just things that are interesting. And it's a good way of training your eye to just look out for something that's a little bit different. So come along and join me, but I know that I'm really gonna enjoy my photography. So what I want to do in this video is just show that it doesn't matter where you live, you can always take photographs if you think a little bit more creatively. So today I'm out in the town that I work, which is a place called Leek in Staffordshire, and I'm just exploring to try and be creative, but it will really push my observational skills which is always good practice for any kind of photography because if you sharpen up your observational skills your photographs get better because it trains you to look for details that you don't normally spot. I love a bit of history. Just here there's an archway that leads through to a courtyard and above the archway is a carving of a horse's head in stone. So clearly at some point this was some kind of stables or blacksmiths um, in the days when we didn't have cars and all our transport was horse-drawn carriages. It's just interesting to find this kind of detail around the town. So if you're not from the UK, you might not be familiar with a scene like this. This is the alleyway between the backs of two rows of houses. Now in England, we have what are called terraced houses where there are long rows of houses all joined together. And this is the gap in between two streets and people put their bins out. And this um, back alleyway still has the old cobbles. Um, so it looks quite rustic and it makes for quite an interesting photograph. This building here behind me is the old police station and it dates back to 1801. It's now been converted into flats but it's built in a gothic style and it's got some really interesting features. Around the doorway is some great carving in the stonework so I'm going to take a shot of that and that should prove quite interesting as well. And now I love finding old details when you're looking about um, that are a blast from the past. And in front of this doorway here is a bit of metalwork and you might not be familiar with what this is. Anybody that lives in the UK probably will recognise it as a boot scraper. So in the days gone by when the roads were much dirtier, if you were going into this house then you would have used this bit of metal just here to scrape all the muck and um, grime from the streets off your boots before going into the house. On this busy junction just here, there's a small fenced off area that seems to serve no purpose. It's got a gate that you can get into it with um, and unless you're aware of its original purpose, you wouldn't realise that this used to be the entrance to an underground public loo. And so you used to go down some steps just here um, to the loo that was underneath this junction. And the structure is probably still there, but at the moment you can't get to it because it's been um, tiled over with some stone flags. And so at the moment, all that's left is this elaborate bit of metalwork and the gate that gets into it. Mm -hmm. 
Now one thing I really love about doing challenges like this is you notice things you've never noticed before. Now I must have walked up the street hundreds of times before in my life but just never really looked in any great detail. So this drain pipe just here has lots of details um, onto it because it is an old metal drain pipe so it's had to be cast but there's a stag's head and then a little bit higher there's a fleur-de-lis um, and all of those details must have been put in either as a decorative thing or as some kind of reason uh, to do with the person that used to live here but either way it's just one of those details that we don't tend to get anymore drain pipes nowadays just tend to be made of plastic and are boring and not very interesting This building behind me is really interesting. It was built for a Mr. Sanders and is known as Sanders Buildings and it was designed by the Sugdens. But what is noticeable is right just up here on the pinnacle of this little tower is a cabbage of all things. Now Sanders was a seedsman so that might be something to do with it. It might have been something to do with being a greengrocer's. But there's also a football bizarrely perching right on the edge of the guttering. I don't know how it's perching there, but I've got a photograph of that. It's just interesting to look up and spot all of these details that you wouldn't normally spot. Just behind me here is a real blast from the past. This bridge here links two buildings on either side of the road. Now they used to be part of one mill that was Worthington Silk Factory um, and the bridge used to enable workers to cross between the two buildings. Now the buildings on the left hand side are now flats and on the right hand side they've just done a massive refurbishment and turned them into old people's homes and so they've kept this bridge in place. Um, maybe it's listed, maybe they can't take it down or they've just kept it as a little bit of a, a reminder of the past but either way it's still quite interesting. So I've just walked past this window here and it's really made me smile. What I noticed first was this piece of wood that forms part of the frame that's turned and it's elaborate you wouldn't get that kind of um, woodwork in a window frame that you'd put in nowadays um, but then I also noticed in the window just here uh, are some moving toys that are powered by light that are just sitting there moving so I like the juxtaposition with the old window frame and the modern toys just there in the window. Lots of buildings in this town were influenced by the arts and crafts style and so all over the place you get lots of interesting features on the front of the buildings like these flowers here on this wall that have been moulded in some kind of uh, terracotta I would imagine, something along those lines. Um, but it just embellishes uh, the building and just makes it really attractive. I can't really tell you any information about this building here behind me but I do find it um, quite fascinating how the end of this uh, building here does tell a story because this part here is built in old stone and then the outer bits are built in brick so clearly there was an old building here at one point that has been extended and modernised and the old building has just been built on top of and extended outwards. It's just fascinating seeing this kind of thing but unless you're walking around with your eyes open you just don't notice it. So I was just walking up these old steps here and I was about to take the photograph because they're quite photogenic in their own right but then I also noticed just here an old discarded face mask. Now I suppose this is a sign of the times now you tend to find these littered all over the place which is not very nice to see and it's quite disgusting it shouldn't happen so I thought I'd feature that in the photograph just as a bit of a commentary. Not particularly a small detail but I'm just walking through this churchyard just here and I love the way that this cobble path winds down there to those lovely little cottages in the background. It makes for a really nice picture.
hope that video has been enjoyable, but I wanted to do something a little bit different just to show what is possible if you just use your creativity and open your eyes and just goes to show that you don't have to travel very far to find interesting features that can make quite pleasing photographs. If you have enjoyed this video, do let me know down below in the comments or nip over to my Vero account, that's at the Oakton Photography. Leave me your comments there and you can also see lots of my photographs. Now, if you like what I do on the channel and want to help support me to make future content like this, you can also visit my Teespring store. There I've got a range of merchandise on offer, so go and check that out. It really does help out the channel. And don't forget the super thanks button as well. But you don't have to spend any money at all to support the channel. You can do that simply by clicking like, subscribe and the bell notifications. It really helps me out and it makes sure that you don't miss out on any future content. Watch out for next week's video, that goes live on Sunday. In the meantime, go and check out this video just up here, but all that's left now is to say, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.